What's going on guys? I'm Banger with Custom Offsets and today we are going to stand out here in the rain and discuss something that we hear all the time. And that is, I haven't lifted my truck because I don't want to make it impractical and I can't use it every day. So we picked up this stock 2020 1500 Sierra to go against our lifted 2020 Silverado 1500 to just show you how practical and usable lifting your truck actually is. And that's how I have some fun. First things first, shout out to Holiday Automotive down in Fond du Lac for hooking us up with the stock truck as well as that's where I bought mine from. So if you're looking for a truck, be sure to check them out. So let's get into what we got stock here. So this is going to be a 2020 GMC 1500. This is gonna be the Elevation Series, but it's a regular four wheel drive, 5.3 liter, literally nothing done to it, window sticker still in it. Mine on the other hand, 2020 Silverado 1500, same color, same 5.3, but this one has the six inch super lift with the king coils. We got some 24 by 14 Archons, some 37, 13 and a half gladiators, ADD bumpers. This one's lifted, right? So we're gonna take these two and just show you that they can both do the same stuff. All right guys, so first things first, they tell me you wanna know, can the truck do a burnout? We're in a stock Sierra 1500. We've done one with my truck, I know we can. We just need a little help from this button right here. Hold, traction control off, keep holding, ESC off. We wait for the go ahead from Lawson. Did nothing. <laughs> I was say there's too much traction. Fucking trucks in four wheel drive. <laughs> All right, everything off. Looks like Lawson is ready. Let's do a burnout. It's safe to say it'll do a burnout. Posi too. All right guys, so now we'll see if the, uh, the old lifted truck on 37s can do a burnout. I'm glad it rained because this is my truck. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> so it was a little slow going, but it did a burnout and it still spins two of them. All right, so for the next test, we're gonna do an acceleration test. We've got it marked out about what's roughly an eighth mile. It's, it's literally three light posts but we're gonna see how fast this goes, see how fast I can do it in my lifted truck. All right guys, so the stock truck did that in 9.37 seconds. I really hope I can keep up with my lifted one. All right, so now let's see, uh, see how fast this thing will go three light pole lengths. I don't have high hopes, I'll be honest. All right, so we ran the lifted truck, ran it 9.4. So same distance, same truck, same engine, one with the lift, one without. To be 10, one tenth of a second off, Pretty good. All right guys, so for the next test, we're gonna be hooking up a trailer to both the stock and lifted trucks just to see how difficult it is between the two. All right guys, so obviously hooking up a trailer to a stock truck's pretty straightforward if you've ever done it before. You go to the local hardware store, you get yourself a regular old trailer hitch with a two inch ball. You hook up your trailer, you go on your way. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's see if we can do that with the lifted truck. So obviously 
hooking up to lift the trucks a little bit bigger. You can't just go down to your, ever, your corner hardware store, pick up a drop hitch. So we've got our Gen Y on here. Again, hooks up pretty nice. We could probably use an extension on the chains and on the wire and harness. But hey, for the look you get with the lifted truck, still being able to tow with relatively simple changes to your trailer, I think that's worth it. All right, so another thing, another excuse, if you will, that we always hear about why guys don't lift their trucks is my kids can't get in and out. So we have Hunter out here to show you just how easy it actually is with a couple other accessories for your kids to get in and out of these trucks too. So let's show them the stock truck first. Just yeah, climb in, just <laughs> open the back seat and get in and then open the oh, back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively easy for the kids to get in and out of the stock truck when you don't have the child locks on. Child locks are on in this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's just see if kids can get in and out of the lifted truck. Look at that. You pick yourself up some amp steps from custom offsets. Kids can still get into the lifted truck just as easy. So can the wife. So the one easy thing about the stock truck is drive-throughs. I don't have to worry about curbing anything. I don't have to worry about my roof height. Simple. I'd check my balance, but I have a brand new truck, so I know I have no money. All right, so as easy as the drive-through was with the stock truck, once you lift it, you kind of just got to pick your own battles, guys. Walk up ATM it is. So in terms of miles per gallon, we know which one's going to be the winner there. I mean, it's pretty obvious. This one's a little bit too new, so it's not going to have the, uh, the counter on it like my truck has. But I do know and in stock form, I was getting 26 miles per gallon with the stock truck. Lifted truck, on the other hand, I average about 9.6. I do drive a little bit more aggressively now that it is lifted. Could probably get that up to about 12 if I drove a little bit more conservatively. It also isn't tuned, so that's something you're gonna wanna consider when doing your truck as well. Get some of the miles per gallon and some of the power back. All right guys, so there you have it. With a few extra options, accessories, and some minor lifestyle changes, lifted truck is just as capable, just as everyday usable as a stock truck. So now you have no more excuses Go to customoffsets.com, pick yourself up everything you need to build your trucks right now.